Hey guys, welcome to YouTube channel where hedging peso matters. So for today's topic, pag-usapan natin, when is the right time for us to exit the trade or when to sell? Alright, so ito pong pag-usapan natin sa pagkakatong ito. Now, we are given two ways. First is profitable exit and second is setting up a stop loss or a cut loss. Now, profitable exit, kapag kumita na tayo, nakita natin sa ating mga portfolio na meron na tayong positive uh, gains or paper gains or naging color green na po siya and that's the time we exit the trade. Now, on the other hand, kapag uh, when we, whenever we set up a stop loss or a cut loss, kahit na negative pa yan, negative 2% and below, alright, magbebenta na tayo or magsasell na tayo in order for us to protect our capital or in order for us to protect whatever kung anong pinuhunan natin dun, alright? So, dun po tayo mag -e exit so, not for the purpose na malugi tayo, but for the purpose na ma-protection na natin ng ating capital. Now, first discuss po muna itong stop loss or cut loss. So, with this, okay, kita po natin here. Kapag maglalagay po tayo ng stop loss, we have to consider a significant candle. Yung previous day candle na significant. Now, paano natin malalaman kung significant ng isang candle? Suppose, I would enter a trade at 12.20, alright? Ang significant candle would be, punta po tayo dito, then dun tayo sa lowest, which is 12.18. Do you think this is significant? No, this is not significant. Bakit? Kasi nag-enter tayo ng 12.20, so kung maglalagay tayo ng stop loss at 12.18, it doesn't make sense. Alright? So, once na bumaba dyan ang price at 12.18, Ibig sabihin ba, no, uh, no choice na tayo, we have to exit the trade, of course not. So, hindi ito significant kasi most likely the same sila. So, ang significant natin would be either this one, 12.16 or 12.14. So, dyan po tayo maglalagay ng stop loss. So, maglalagay po tayo at 12.14, right? Now, the next day, nagkaroon ng trading day. Na naglagay po tayo at 12.14 di ba? Naglagay 12.14 12.15, naglagay po tayo ng stop loss now, since kaya tayo naglalagay ng stop loss kasi hindi natin alam kung ano magiging outcome ng market so the next day, ang nangyari nagkaroon ng trading day eto po, kita po natin na hit na ang ating stop loss na 12.15 now kung wala po tayong stop loss Hindi, hindi natin ma-protection na ng ating capital and since no one can predict what the market will will give us hindi natin alam po anong outcome ng the next trading day makikita natin kung walang stop loss hindi natin alam na babagsak pala ng ganyan ang price right? so this would be det uh, detrimental to our capital right? hindi natin ma-protection na ng ating capital kung wala tayong stop loss Ito po ang purpose ng stop loss. Now, doon naman tayo sa isa, sa profitable exit. Now, sa profitable exit, we look for buying and selling signals. So, buying signal, when the lower moving average crosses above the higher moving average, yan po ang buying signal natin. So, ano tong buying signal na to? Illustration natin. Kunwari, the 50 moving average crosses above the 100 moving average, yan po, signal to buy selling signal naman natin when the lower moving average crosses below the higher moving average kunwari 50, mo uh, 50 moving average crosses below the 100 moving average signal naman yan to sell all right so whatever moving average you are using either 50 and 100 20 or 40 20, uh, 200 100 and 200 the same principle applies. Basta nag-cross itong maliit na moving average above dun sa malaking moving average, alright, buying signal yan. Selling signal naman, when the, the maliit na moving average crosses below the malaking moving average, it's a signal for us to sell. Now, if uh, for those who doesn't know how to set up a moving average yet, punta po tayo dito sa ating YouTube channel, 
wherein entitled po nito, the kinds of trend every new trader must know. So dito po, uh, I'll be teaching you how to set up your moving averages. Now, let's proceed. So for instance, uh, let's take a look at BDO. Alright, BDO. Sabi natin meron tayong mga signal, buying signal, tsaka selling signal. Actually, I'm using the indicator Ichimoku. But, right, don't be overwhelmed with Alright, don't be overwhelmed with the chart or the indicator that you see. Basically, it operates uh, it operates the same principle, so it partakes the nature. It in green and blue, it partakes the nature of our moving averages. Now, daily chart. Let's look at the daily chart. Let's set up one setup natin one day. Alright. Now, ang signal to buy natin would be Signal to buy, signal to buy. Here we go. Ito signal to buy natin. Nag-cross itong maliit na moving average, which is the green, above din sa malaking moving average. So, na nag-cross siya, it's a signal for us to buy. Suppose nag-buy tayo at 120. Alright. 120 tayo bumili. Itong strategy na ito, swing trading ang strategy natin, wherein mag exit lang tayo kapag nakakita tayo ng signals to exit. Ito, signal to buy, nag-cross ito above. So, bibili tayo. And sasakyan lang natin lahat ng candlesticks, ng prices. Sasakyan lang natin siya until we see. Alright? So, sasakyan natin. Nakita po natin. Tumataas yung price. Alright? Dito, tingnan nyo. Bumaba po ang price but wala tayong, wala tayong selling signal. So, since wala tayong selling signal, tuloy lang ang biyahe. Alright? So, tuloy-tuloy lang tayo hanggang sa duma dumating sa point na mag-cross po itong maliit na moving average below ito sa mas malaking moving average. Okay? So, once na nag-cross, it's a signal for us to sell. And, nag-profit pa tayo? Yun ang tanong. We enter the trade at 120, right? So, suppose, nag-exit tayo at kunyari, nagkaroon na ng crossing dito. Nagkaroon siya ng cross at 156, for instance. So, 156, we subtract it sa 120 from 156. So, meron tayong 36 per share na profit. So, 36 times the number of shares that we have. So, nag-profit po tayo. Obviously, may 36 pesos tayong kita. Alright? So, yan po ang swing trading. Yan po ang strategy kapag uh, swing trading is involved. Hinahawakan po natin siya on the long term. Slightly on the long term. Kasi dito, nag-exit tayo at uh, January 26, 2018. And we entered, nakakita tayo ng trading opportunity kung saan nagkaroon ng cross here. Tingnan nyo yung date. May 4, 2017. So, ang haba ng duration, halos mag-iisang taon ng duration bago natin binenta. So, ganyan po pag swing trading, sasakyan lang po natin ang trend hanggang sa makakita tayo ng selling signal. And this, well, I prefer this kasi mamamaximize po natin ang profit natin, mamamaximize natin ang profit taking. And of course, syempre, mas malaki ang kita dahil sinasakyan po natin ang trend and we all know for a fact na uptrend dito. Alright? So, ito lang ang basic principles. One of the one of the many strategies out there. So, hopefully, makatulong po ito sa inyo mga trading decisions and again, maraming maraming salamat sa so, uulitin po. Thank you.